Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to prevent your Windows computer from tabbing out games. So if you're an avid video game player on your computer, and you notice that the games are appearing in a tabbed Windows version of the game, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully rectify that and just make it regular full screen mode. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in control panel. Best result should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Say your view by in the top right to category view and then select ease of access. And then select where it says ease of access center. On the right side, go underneath the make the keyboard easier to use section. And then there should be an area that says sticky keys. If that is turned on, you want to turn that off. Uncheck that box, basically. And then select apply and OK. If you notice there are any toggle keys turned on, you may want to turn them off as well. So we went back in there. If turn on toggle keys or filter keys, you may want to make sure they're all turned off, actually. Probably be better practice here. So that's the first thing I recommend trying. And that's pretty much it, guys. There's one other thing we can take a look at, though. And that would entail opening back up the search menu, search for device manager. Best result should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Double click on the keyboard section and then right click on the keyboard listed under there and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the one that's available. If there's a manufacturer specific one, you can select that one optionally and then select next. Once it's done installing, go ahead and close out of here. You will need to restart your computer for the change to take effect. So just save and close out of anything that's open on your computer and restart your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.